Are you here to review me? There's not much of me left. Star Wars fans and collectors, how's it going? Hope you're all doing very, very well. I am excited to bring you another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We've got in front of you the Saw Gerrera Deluxe, Deluxe uh, action figure. Well, I'm pumped about this one. Um, is it Deluxe? Maybe there's a lot of... It's all new um, in terms of the design elements, uh, sculpt, all of that. So I can, I can give them a little pass grade for that, but, um, you know, just for me personally, I think um, an alternate bald head would have been really, really cool for this guy, but uh, I won't complain because this is uh, a long time coming. Um, we did get Saw Gerrera in the three and three quarter inch Rogue One line, and that was really it. Um, yeah, really nice artwork there on the side, looks good. And on the back, he's number 10. It says, Guerrero is bunked, or bunkered on the ancient world of Jeddah, coordinating a prolonged insurgency against the Imperial occupation. His ailing health does little to wither his resolve to fight. So, uh, yeah, really nice looking figure. These are available in Australia here at EB Games, Zing, Pop Culture, and just Maya. Um... Not sure that anyone else is going to be getting them in, but uh, those those ones are the ones that are stocking them at the moment. Um, so yeah, let's crack him up and take a look. All right, here is Mr. Guerrera out of his packaging, and we're going to take a look at his accessories just before we take a look at the figure. So he does come with this little blaster pistol, which I literally just dropped it on the bench behind me, and you know it took me to realize that this isn't the normal Hasbro gun that's cast in like a really soft plastic at all. This is a nice solid plastic and uh, it's actually looks really good. Feels nice and sturdy. It's no, there's no flex in it. Like I can't, I can't bend that. That'll snap if I break it to, you know, fold it too hard. Um, so that's really nice. I'm not sure what the purpose of that was, but this is a, uh, Definitely unlike Hasbro as we know them. <laughs> you know, we, we always get the weapons. They're a little bit softer, sometimes unpainted. Um, but yeah, this hopefully this means it's a step in the right direction. Um, and here we get his staff, his walking stick, which is that sort of more flexible plastic. Still feels, feels nice and sturdy, like it's nice and straight. It's not going to warp and bend. But, uh, yeah, it's nicely done. So that's cool. Uh, looks like the blaster will slot into his holster there. Which, yeah, beautiful. Really nice. So let's take a look at him. So get a good look at his head sculpt there. Really nicely done. You know, it's sort of tucked away inside... The arm there, if we try and lift it up a little bit. Really nicely done. Fantastic likeness of of Saw in his in his last days on Jeddah. You know, I really love what they did with Saw Guerrera, and that is sort of create the rebellion's own Darth Vader, so to speak. Despite very much just being the antithesis of, of Vader. He is, you know, still more man than machine, but he's, you know, he is a leader of, of the rebellion. He's extreme in his methods. Um, and yeah, I, I like him. I like his original original appearances in the Clone Wars. Um, starting to see him evolve in Bad Batch. And literally just the other day getting an appearance from him to confirm that he will be in Andor starting next month. So we've got the uh, Onderon flag there. Which is really nice, sort of draped off of his back. 
Yeah, I love, I love the details of his, of his outfit and all the mechanics that are sort of helping him continue to live. Um, there's the hose sort of cast in a clear, more clear plastic, same with there. That will unpeg. Probably don't need to unpeg that. That's, this will also come out from underneath the hook if you so wish. There is a little hook there. You gotta remove the hose. It plugs into his little oxygen tank there on the back of his back of his belt. Sort of a softer plastic up here, but not super soft. It still allows articulation. And it looks to be on, yeah, there is a peg in the back there. So you can, and I assume the front also, yep, there we go. So that pegs in and that just allows that joint to, to move a little more, bring it down and up. So I am wondering whether there is some basis here for a potential future release of Saw Gerrera with slightly stripped down armor. Not quite as in need of all the life support systems he has here. But yeah, where, whereas Vader has his sort of, you know, very much high tech Imperial um, armor, the Saw's were using what he, what he can get a hold of, you know, being part of the rebellion and, and everything. We've got his sandal and his metal foot, which is really cool. I uh, definitely want to sort of see more of Saw Gerrera in the future. Definitely want to see see more of him. Just sort of see how he becomes this sort of broken, um, you know, broken form of himself. You know, he's suspicious. He's, you know, untrusting. He's... Yeah, all those things. I'd love to see how he gets to that point from, you know, being a, you know, a great rebel leader to, you know, really sort of going into extremist sort of tactics. Yeah, some people almost would see his his methods as as terrorism in some 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 forms. You sort of get that vibe from Rogue One, but uh. You know, he feels like hard action is the way forward. You know, the empire is not going to stand back and go easy on on the on the republic, the citizens of the former republic. <laughs> but yeah, this is a nice looking figure. I know I'm not really here to talk about the character, but um, you know, I can't help it. I really like Saul Guerrero's character. I look forward to seeing more of him as, um, you know, the Star Wars galaxy unfolds even more into the future. And this is a good one. Well done, Hasbro. Yeah, still not sure about the, uh, the deluxeness of it. But uh, for this particular one, just to sort of finish the Rogue One crew, so to speak. Uh, definitely more I'd love to see built on, but um, in terms of, like, the main characters... I just think uh, Director Krennic would be a great one to see re-released with photo real apps. I think that's a no-brainer. Uh, two tubes. Uh, yeah, there's a few other characters I'd love to see. But uh, yes, yeah, Saw Gerrera is in the bag. Fantastic looking figure. And uh hope you've enjoyed the review. I appreciate you guys sticking around and hanging out and listening to me jibber-jabber on. But uh, yeah, be back with some more very soon. So until then... May the force be with you always.